guys, my name is Jen and this is my channel Embracing Chaos. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning friend, welcome back. I'm so excited to have every single one of you here. Real quick, before we get started on this weigh-in and update video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. It really helps communicate to YouTube that you guys are enjoying my content and encourages them to promote our videos so we can continue to grow our YouTube family. Speaking of YouTube family, guys, we are getting super close to 800 subscribers and I am working on putting together a fantastic giveaway for you guys. So if you're not a member of my YouTube family, please hit that subscribe button down in the corner. I would love the opportunity to get to know you better. And please share, guys. Share my channel with anybody that you think might enjoy weight loss content, hauls, subscription box unboxings, and really, honestly, all kinds of chaos. <laughs> Which, you know, chaos, Jen. Here I am. So please, guys, feel free to leave comments or questions down below at any time. And let's get started on this video. So health update really quick. I am doing much, much better. The last time I did a weigh-in video was about three weeks ago. And since then, um, I have basically been recovering and am definitely on the mend. I got very lucky as far as my symptoms go. The worst it got was a really high fever and a migraine. And I was very, very, very tired. Very tired. The first week there, I couldn't stay awake for more than an hour at a time. But that has gradually gotten better every day and I am back to work, working full nine hour shifts and managing pretty well. The only remaining symptom that I have at this point is that I just get short of breath really easy. And my oxygen levels stay fine. It's more my heart rate. Just with the slightest amount of exercise, anything more than a couple minutes, my heart starts pounding so hard that I have to sit down because I can't catch my breath. Um, but like I said, my oxygen levels stay fine. It's just a matter of keeping an eye on that and gradually increasing my activity level as I can tolerate. And speaking of my last weigh-in video, let's go ahead and review the numbers from that video and then we'll go over the new ones. The last time I weighed in was July 25th and I weighed in at 218.1 pounds. Well, guys, my appetite was so wonky during this whole recovery process. I really didn't know what to expect when I got on the scale. There were some days where I couldn't even handle eating one meal because it just exhausted me so much. And then there were other days where I felt like I was eating nonstop. So I don't know if those nonstop eating days were just my body's way of compensating for the calories that I didn't consume when I wasn't eating, but I did not, I repeat, did not make healthy choices. Once I got back to work, it was really easy for me to make healthy food choices for breakfast and lunch and for my snacks. But by the time I got home, I was so tired and exhausted. I was really just grabbing whatever was in front of me and eating it. So like I said, did not know what to expect. Got on the scale this morning and I am up only 1.6 pounds. I figured with the way I was feeling about my eating over the past couple of weeks that I was going to be way over 230 pounds, but I was not. 219.7 pounds is where I'm at now. That puts me at a total weight loss of 46.3 pounds since joining WW, so not too bad. Um, I do know that we have several new subscribers, so real quick, um, hi, I'm Chaos Jen. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> Um, I currently follow the WW Blue Plan. I get 31 points per day and I get a total of 42 points per week for my weeklies. As far as tracking goes when I was recovering, non-existent really. I mean, there might have been a couple days where I was tracking, but again, I was either not eating anything and using probably less than 10 points a day or I was consuming anything I could get my hands on and I can only imagine what my points look like for that day. So it is time to get back on track. How do I plan to do that guys? Well, let me tell you. I have set a few simple goals this week for me to follow in order to get myself back on track. So to start out with, I'm trying to pick what I feel will be the most important and most beneficial to get back on track with my weight loss journey. The first thing I plan to do is track every day. 
I'm not shooting for blue dots. I'm not shooting for perfect points. And I'm also not going to use that as an excuse to eat whatever I want, but I need to track and I need to track honestly everything that I consume. Um, I am aware of what I eat, but I think writing it down on paper or putting it in my tracker is going to make it hit home for me even harder and will hopefully motivate me to stay on track. That being said, I belong to five different weight loss groups on Facebook. I'm going to link every single one of them down below. And my commitment to you guys is to post a screenshot of my tracker around seven or eight o'clock each night this week so that you guys can help to hold me accountable. If you guys belong to these weight loss groups, please feel free to join in. I would love to hear how your day went, how you felt you did with your eating, and let's support each other. Like I said, I'm linking them down below. They are not just Weight Watchers, they are weight loss channels. So any weight loss program that you belong to, you are more than welcome. So make sure you head over to check all of them out. They are great, very, very supportive channels for any type of weight loss journey or healthier lifestyle journey. It doesn't always have to be about weight loss because goodness knows some of us are just trying to maintain. Not me, it's a long-term goal, but you know. It is what it is, and for those of you who are just maintaining at this point, come on over. We're here to support you too, and good job. Proud of you. <laughs> so first goal is to track honestly every day and share my tracker with you guys. Second goal, I have my Fitbit. I want to walk 5,000 steps every day. I know that doesn't sound like much, but to me, guys, with my energy level and where I'm at, 5,000 steps is going to mean that I'm going out each evening and walking here and there to get a total of 5,000 steps. So while I am recuperating still and building my strength back up, I feel like that is a doable goal for me. And I'm one of those people, you know, it's all or nothing. I need to get out of that mentality, but I really struggle with it, especially right now. I'm so hard on myself when I make a mistake or when I mess up that sometimes I get that woe is me attitude and I just say forget it, I've already messed up. I'm not even going to try and fix it at this point. I'll start again tomorrow or start again next week when really all I need to do is start again with my next step or start again with my next bite of food. That's what's great about a weight loss journey is you make a mistake, you learn from it, you start again with the next bite of food. It's not a deal breaker if you mess up. It is not a showstopper. And I need to get that through my head. I'm working on it and I'm getting better, but still one of my struggles. And on top of the tracking, on top of the steps, I also want to make sure that I maintain my water. Guys, what do you do to get your water in every day? I know I like to drink at least 110 ounces of water per day, and I'm not a fan of plain water. I do have sparkling water, and I use those spindrifts, which I guess is technically still sparkling water, but it has real fruit in it, which I absolutely love. Um, but I also have these. Let me show you. They have been a game changer for me. These have really helped me be accountable with my water consumption each day. Y'all know what it is. If you've seen my grocery hauls, my Dollar Tree hauls, my day in life, anything, Chaos Jen likes her flavored water. These are sugar-free packets. They have every flavor under the sun available. And you can get these anywhere. It's not just Dollar Tree. I get them at Walmart, Kroger's, Myers, Target. They're very inexpensive. And if you're not a fan of plain water like I am, these are the go-to for sure. All right, guys. I think I have spun us in circles long enough. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I will get back with you as quickly as possible. Again, thank you all for your support. Thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Guys, we're so close to 800 subscribers, and I am planning one heck of a giveaway for you guys. So if you have a friend that you think might enjoy this content too, please share with them. Guys, really, we are so close, and we are just going good places with this channel great places and it's all because of you so thank you thank you thank you all right rambling 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 as always thumbs up hit the subscribe button leave me a comment guys until next time keep smiling bye